We are back with a new Babble Play. A yay for this! And it was made by different companies, including Pendulo. Pendulo Studios. Good old point-and-click adventure game. Probably won't overpower my system the way some games that will remain nameless will. Alright, we we'll have to pick a graphic for this game. And we just sit here forever, that's boring. Let's use this guy. He looks awesome. Usopp, there we go. I don't need a password to lock my game. Alright, difficulty low. Hotspot. I might need help, who knows. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Come on. Do something. Ladies and gentlemen. Hello. <clears throat> Before we begin, you should know that the story you're about to hear has quite a number of... Um, Naughty bits? Uh, well, don't say I didn't warn you. Too close! Too close! Ah! Fish! Fish, 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 fish. Hello, fish. I like that fish. I will name you Mr. Fish. Science. Why do you even need a pizza cutter? Oh, he's alive. Yay! Mr. Big is alive. Yep. Needs tomato sauce. Oh, wait a minute. The story doesn't start that way. Okay. Ah, yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen. Ayo. Let's Ayo? begin at the beginning. Ayo. Ayo. Focus Home Interactive presents a Benulo Studios production! Yay! We already know that they're involved! Bum, bum, bum. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the annual Horror Film Awards ceremony, in which the most outstanding monsters of the summer screen compete for the Golden Death Chicken! Death Chicken! Go into the theater now and take your seats and enjoy. What did you just say? Didn't you hear me? Of course I heard you. Good for you. I'm not deaf. Right, just don't. You jerk. Lunatic. Dan Murray, the boss has assigned this story to the two of us. If you don't come into the theater with me and do your part... So, you don't think you can do it alone? I think I'm more than capable. You don't say. Dan Murray, I'm going to go into that theater and write a Pulitzer Prize story by myself. You hear me? You're going to leave me out here in the cold in the dead of autumn? I hope you freeze. Hmm. How can I keep myself warm? I like them already. Hey, yo, Dan. It was fabulous. I did so many interviews that we're going to have to ask the boss for more space. Fitz Randolph, Professor Fly, Chrome Hot, Eva Morte, the poet, the Grim Reaper, and uh, the Shrek like from monsters. Monster Without a Cause. Fascinating. Yeah, you know, the one from... Uh, hey, what's that? It's antifreeze. Dan Murray, have you been out here drinking while I was in there doing your job? Quite likely. That's it. The byline is going to be mine and mine alone. They can fire you for all I care. Mm -hmm. What's more, if they ask me for a shovel to help dig your grave, I'll be more than happy to help. And if... Hey, what's he up to? Hmm. Big Albert. In Fitzrandall's office. That's odd. It is odd. <laughs> Who's Fitzrandall? <laughs> you were saying? We have to go in there. My thoughts exactly. Finally, real investigative journalism. Come on, move it. Sweetheart. 
My thing is sports writing. If he hits you with a baseball bat, call me. So the guy who I thought was going to be a secret agent is a And that's how it reporter. all started for Liz Allaire. She decided she was going into that office with or without Dan's help. All right. Once got my head caught under the hood of my father's car. Oh, Anne Marie, my smart sister, was being Tarzan. Queenie, my pretty sister, was Jane. I was Cheetah, and the car was the crocodile. Something I would not readily admit. Let's go to the mansion. Tabby the third, Fitz Randolph's pet, is inside. Up to chop chop walk walk. Who's a good dog? I assume. You're awfully crabby, Tabby. I was going to pet him, but he blew it. Hello, what's this? He has a saw for a hand. How uncomfortable. Hello there, Mr. Robot. Hey, yo, short stuff. I knew you'd come. Take me with you. Wow, Where? Let's forward. To the great beyond, to my final resting place, to eternal peace. No way. Never on the first date. Are you not my grim reaper? He's the evil. angel of death, the bearer of the sight, the stealer of souls. Ah, oh, now I know who you're talking about. It's a guy with hiccups who's still at the party. Quite elderly. I'm Liz, and you? Probably oh, Marvin. Oh, Phil. My time has not come. It never come. You're depressing me. Have you seen Big Albert? I have seen things you can't imagine. I've seen ivy grow higher on the wall. I've seen lightning bugs shining in the darkness near the door to the mansion. I've seen all this and much more. All of which will disappear in time, but Big Albert, no. No Big Albert, gotcha. Are you feeling sad? Sadness is the only real name of that which you call life. Let's talk about you. What's behind this door? My tool shed, my greenhouse, my veil of tears. Do you want to go in? Never on the first date. Disconcerting. How long is she going to reuse that? How many times is she going to reuse that joke? I've never seen you before. What do you do? Pull petals off the daisy of existence. I'm dying. I'm not dying. I'm dying. I'm not dying. I'm dying. Thank you for clearing that up. And what work do you do while you're pulling the petals off the daisy of existence? Gardening. I plan. I water, I cut fence posts with the saw. I observe how everything decays in the relentless march of time. You're focusing on it wrong, man. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna get any good headlines out of you. Hey, yeah, we'll talk later. If we don't expire first. This connects to Fitz Randolph's office where Big Albert went in. I can't go in this way. Someone could see me like I saw Big Albert. Okay. We we'll use the front door. Whoa, punchy robots. Hi, oh miss. I thought you were going. Hi Mr. Yo. Fitz Randolph. You seem to have now, a come and sit beside me, Miss Allaire. Ah, that's I never Fitz imagined Randolph. you were such a party girl. Me? <laughs> no. I'm still here because it's so pleasant here, don't you think? Uh, you don't need an excuse, miss. My friend Murray's intern is always welcome. Oh. Actually, I was referring to your unusual style of dancing. Oh, I see. Have I offended you? Yes. No. Maybe. It's just that... What about my style of dancing? Well, you're not accustomed to dancing in public. I've never danced in public, but I look quite good in the mirror. Then don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If I hadn't believed in myself when I was young, I wouldn't be where I am today. These minimal animations. Are you insinuating like that I'm not a good dancer? No, although society may not be prepared to see a woman move so many parts of her body 
so rapidly and with so much independence with respect to the rhythm. rhythm. Aha! I'm a feminist. Vegetable soup. I don't understand. Do you want some? What? Vegetable soup. Ah, what's in it? Disconcerting. Now where were we? How is it that you're sitting here by yourself? How is that? I love parties, but when you get to be my age... Since I'm the host, I can't go to bed. But at least here it's quiet. Okay. I'm nobody's intern. Oh, pardon me. It's just that you're so young and Murray is so... So, you know what I mean. Uh, so Murray. Why does everyone like Dan? I don't want to seem arrogant, but Murray is like me. We're both self-made men. We both have kept our common touch. Dan is a sports writer. How do you know him? I'll only say one thing. The Los Angeles Freaks. Uh. I'm the owner. How nice. The baseball team, miss. I bought it years ago, and Murray comes to all the games. Dan's a jerk. You are very hard on him, and I think I know why. Do you find him attractive? But how dare you? Do you know that I once knocked over a refrigerator with my head? Good do you think you. you're better than a refrigerator? And it was full at the time. What? Twenty, twelve, one, four. <sighs> it really is very pleasant here, isn't it? Dan's not worth talking about so much. I think we're insane. In our interview earlier, I forgot to ask you... Big Tell him. Albert has... Yes? Yes what? Tell him. Big Albert, what about him? Uh, is he feeling all right? Miss, if this keeps up, I will end up understanding why they call you Looney Liz. I think I already understand it. Do you get along with the stars of your super productions? Well, I try to be a good employer, but it's not always easy. Fame goes to their heads. They do strange things. With chickens. How's business going? Support your answer. MKO is still the largest movie studio in the country. And the world. We have made horror movies fashionable. And as long as that continues, nothing can touch us. Right, right. Horror movies have allowed monsters to gain acceptance in society. Are you proud of that? Not completely accepted, miss. It's true that we aren't persecuted anymore and that we finally have the same rights as everybody else, but unfortunately, there are still many minds to change. So many people judge other people by their appearance. Anti-monster rednecks. Donations, foundations, charity events. Do you have any time left for yourself? <laughs> I'm just doing my part for the less fortunate, miss. Without the little people below... The, the cream of society, society would sink, sink to, the, to bottom. the bottom. How did you know I was going to say that? I didn't. Disconcerting. Thank you for your time. I'm gonna take a walk. I uh, just one thing, miss. As you're probably already aware, I know some of the best doctors in the country. Including psychiatrists. I have a cousin who's a veterinarian. Mm. <laughs> I've observed that, that you sometimes say disconcerting things. Yes, I've done a lot of reading. Uh, yes, yes, of course. It's, um... Take the vegetable soup, for example. Poor thing. Haven't you had dinner? Uh, yes. Uh, no, no, I... I won't keep you any longer. I like her. She's silly. Alright. Cons, I can't go into the hall that leads to Fitzrandolph's office while he's right there next to it. Pros, he gets along with Dan. This is the idea. Bad idea. Good. Bad. Jerk. Lunatic. Dan Murray, are you telling me that you do not intend to go into the mansion or to get Fitz Randolph away from the hall? In a nutshell. Well, okay then. Okay. Good. Good. But Liz Allaire was not a woman to give up easily. And she decided to convince Dan to get Fitz Randolph away from the hall. Yeah, we are not a woman who gives up easily. When the hood is down, you can't see the teeth. Okay. I wasn't done exploring the mansion. What's up here? A theater? It's enormous, but it was completely full for the ceremony. Nope, it's closed. And there's no one left. Doesn't usually stop adventure game heroes, but okay. It's one of Dr. Celsius' revolutionary robots. Which one's Dr. Celsius? So, short stuff. 
You guarding the stairs? Restricted area. Only person authorized, William A. Fitz Randolph. Don't worry, I'm not trying to go up. What happens if I go up the stairs? I punch you. Yikes. Fitz Randolph's private quarters are up there, right? Restricted area. I have good manners because I went to finishing school. How about you? Negative. Well, it's been a pleasure. See you later. Negative. Hmm. We got a corridor and a corridor. Well, let's try the corridor. Miss Allaire, could you confirm that the reading room is being remodeled? Confirmed. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. to leave books. How little respect people have for culture. Yeah. Shame, shame, shame. What a place... Yes, yes. My father once caught me sliding down the banister at home, rear end first. My backside stung for hours. Did the workers leave this behind? It's a vest. The best vest in the West. If there was anything in the pocket, someone got here before me and took it. Man, you're more of a klepto than most video game heroes. Large cans of white paint and little ones with blue pigment. Okay, do I need blue pigment? Do I need white paint? The cans of pigment weigh less. So that's your deciding criteria for taking things, that they weigh less. Okay. Nice painting. Nice painting. I'm not going up, nor am I moving it. Okay. Apparently a stairway, st staircase goes to a door I can't reach. Or something. No, that's just a plank right, linking, linking. Plank linking! A plank leaning against the wall. Heyo, Edgar. What are you doing at the window? Heyo, weren't you going? Oh, sometimes I'm going and sometimes I'm coming. What are you doing at the window? Shall I take your jacket again? I'm going to be coming and going. What are you doing at the window? Rehearsing. Ah, oh, you've been cast in a movie? No, just rehearsing for the sake of rehearsing. With my looks, nobody can believe I'd be competent as a monster in front of the camera. What about Nosferatu? I like books. Who does the one on the table belong to? <laughs> to me, for autographs. I've gotten them from all the celebrities at the party. Okay. Mm, except for Hammer Boy Brown. Twenty, twelve, one, four. I don't understand. Why did you say that? To help myself relax. It works every time. I wonder if it'll come up later. Out of work actor. Code check attendant. Obvious synergies. They don't let you play monsters? No. With my looks, I don't scare anyone. At the auditions, I don't even get to act. They send me packing as soon as they lay eyes on me. And Fitz Randolph can't give you a recommendation? No, that would compromise his integrity. He gives his producers and directors complete artistic freedom and never interferes in things like casting. What type of work are you doing right now? A little of everything. Maintenance, basically. I do whatever needs doing. Was your appearance this original when you were a boy? Yes, from day one. I was born in a beautiful land, absolutely ordinary place. A humble With dirt farm. your typical farm animals. Why did I turn out peculiar? Your guess is as good as mine. No idea. I Dreams can't possibly of imagine. Mother Nature. How long have you been working for Fitz Randolph? About a month. Enough said. Let's move on. Go on, rehearse. I'll watch you. I'm on it. Well, he obviously had some success. So now he's into rehearsing. Poor thing. It's Blue Harrelson, the star of Vulcan Flash and the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, who disappeared without a... 
Wait a minute. Edgar! You are Falcon Flash. That's really obvious. <laughs> I wish. Seriously, you could pass for him. Now you have a job. Blue, strange eyes, dressed like this. Impossible. I'm very grateful to you, but no. Maybe it was out of generosity or stubbornness, or just because she happened to feel like it. But Liz decided that very night she would convince Edgar of his future as Vulcan Flash. Whether he liked it or not. For that, her... Original mind came up with a mental image that she decided to call the complete alien kit, which she would equip with everything required for this altruistic goal. All right. Don't you threaten me. What's the sign say? No ticket, no coat. Ah, there's my inventory. Alien it kit. contains everything needed to transform the user into the new Vulcan Flash. Well, it will contain it all. It's still not complete. It needs to be blue for one thing. I've got that. On second thought, the color blue is a fundamental characteristic of the great Vulcan Flash. Yes, and I think this vest Agreed. is the clone on the poster. He's not exactly the guy in the poster, but close enough. Alright, I need a blaster of some kind, some goggles, funky boots, he's already got funky boots. How do I get out of here? There we go. 